Well, Kentucky Pastor Bob Rogers of the Evangel World Prayer Center in Louisville getting hit with all kinds of backlash for what they're calling controversial comments that he made during his live Sunday service. We're going to get into all the details of it, guys. Really quick, if you enjoyed the daily content I put out for you on YouTube and you guys would like to help support my channel and ministry, I recommend you go sign up on Patreon for as little as $5 a month. Patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link in the description right now gets you access to all the bonus content. Soon could be all the content, the way things are going on YouTube now. I'm getting hit with all kinds of warnings, so who knows how much longer I'm going to be here. If you want to not only help support what I do, but also make sure you keep getting my content. If I happen to disappear here from the platform, I recommend you sign up on Patreon. Please also like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. So, Pastor Bob Rogers here, like I said, the Evangel World Prayer Center in Louisville, Kentucky. This past Sunday, a prayer that he had really led a lot of pastors to come forward and condemn him for the words that he said. Now, in the prayer, he's basically coming out and in the prayer, his words were basically asking God to put a curse on those, uh, everything having to do with the election and with Trump, the Democrats, all of those working with the side of evil, basically. And I'm being careful how I choose my words here because of obvious reasons. So he says, it's basically said, you know, I want you to put weakness into their body, curse them with, you know, weakness in their body, curse them with poverty, curse them with the worst year that they've ever had for what they've done. And everybody in the congregation's in agreement with this. Um, I'm going to put the clip down below in the description. You guys could actually check it out for yourselves. But many people called this wrong on behalf of the pastor, said this is no way to pray for your enemies using his pulpit uh, to bring this attention out there. Now, I'm curious to get you guys' thoughts on this because there could be a lot of opinions on this back and forth. But let me just say this. Anybody who's seeking to do anything to try and harm the kingdom of God, God is going to deal with them regardless. Because if they have unrepentive sin in their heart, then they have to answer for that. One way or another, they're going to have to answer to that. We don't have to pray to God to put a curse on them. God is going to bring his judgment down regardless. And that's just the case. And that, I mean, and that goes with anybody. I mean, for Christians too. You know, if we have unrepentive sin in our hearts and we don't go before the Lord to repent of those sins, we're going to have to deal with that. And that goes for Democrats and Republicans too that look to try to, you know, do what they did to Trump to try to, you know, basically ruin this guy's life. You guys know what I'm talking about. But the pastor tried to clarify his prayer in an interview that he gave on Tuesday, where he said that the prayer wasn't about cursing people. It was about cursing the demonic forces that were behind it and that he doesn't actually want God to really curse people unless unless he said they don't repent and get their lives right. So like I said, this caused all kinds of backlash with not just local pastors there in Louisville, but also many others in the ministry around the country that were appalled by what Pastor Rogers had to say here. And again, like I'm saying, we don't need to say those things. I think we could. Now, if he had come out and actually prayed against the forces of darkness, I think that's one thing. But again, God is going to bring judgment upon those who don't repent anyway. He would have done all of that regardless. This stuff would have been happening to these people. They're going to have to deal with the consequences for their actions. They won't get away with it. God deals with it. It's like they can run as much as they want, but they can't hide from God. They're not going to be able to. You know, they're going to try to. You know, when the Bible says that, you know what? They're going to be wishing. These people are going to be wishing for the rocks to fall upon them and crush them because of what's taking place. They're going to be begging for God to just take their life, but it's not going to work. There's going to be weeping and gnashing of teeth. This is all to come for these people. So what do you guys think about the comments made here by Pastor Bob Rogers? Again, check that link down below in the description. I don't think by any means should this guy, this pastor be fired or anything like that. I mean, no, not at all. I think that's really taking it too far. There's enough cancel culture stuff going on right now. We sure don't need any more of that. So I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you so much for watching. 
I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.